In the previous video, we learned how to work with layout data. We load data in a class layout.js file and consume it in the corresponding layout.svelte file. Sometimes though, within a component, you may need data that is loaded higher in the component tree. That is, you may need to get hold of parent data if you can call it that. In this video, let's understand how to do that with an example. For our example, we are going to load user details in the root layout of our application and then access the same user details in the product layout file. Root layout is our parent and products layout is our child. Let's head back to VS Code and understand how to accomplish that. First, create a top level layout page. In the routes folder, new file plus layout.swell. Within this file, add a slot and above the slot, add a div tag that renders welcome followed by username. We need to load user details and replace this username string. And loading layout data is something we learned in the previous video. Again, within the routes folder, create a plus layout.js file. Within this file, export a load function that returns an object. Now we are not going to fetch the user details from an external API. We have already learned how to do that. For this video, I'll keep it simple and return one property, username set to Vishwas. Back in layout.svelte file, let's use the loaded data to bind username. So script section, we get hold of the data prop and we extract username from data. Welcome within curly braces, username. If we head to the browser and navigate to slash products, we see the username being displayed at the top. Welcome Vishwas. Now what we are going to do next is personalize the featured products section. We're going to display featured products for Vishwas. So the username, which is loaded in the root layout, needs to be displayed in the products layout as well. And the way to do that is to get hold of username in the products layout load function, and then return it as part of the object that is injected into the UI. Now back in VS Code, within layout.js file, for products, inside the load function, we're going to access parent data. And to access parent data, Swellkit provides us with a function called parent, which we can destructure from load event. We then call the function and await it as it returns a promise. Parent data is equal to await parent. And this is a function. Parent data here refers to the object that is returned from the root layout. That object contains one property username which we can destructure. Add username to the return statement. Now in layout.svelte file within the products folder, const username is equal to data.username. In the h2 tag, title for username. If we now save the file and head back to the browser, we can see featured products for Vishwas. We are able to use parent data or data that is loaded in a component higher up in the component tree inside the products layout file. In SwellKit, a child component has access to any parent component data. The component can also be nested any level deep and it still works. I also want to quickly revisit our slide on load function inputs. We can now add another input, which is the parent function. Once again, this is an input available to both universal and server load functions. Before we proceed to the next video, 
here's a quick exercise for you. I would like you to load the user details in products page and bind the username to the title. So the title should say list of available products for Vishwas. Let me know in the comment section if you were able to achieve that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.